Hi developers, in this video I show you how to make an HTTP request to GitHub GraphQL API. So here I create a console application and I use the HTTP client where I set the base address to the GitHub GraphQL endpoint. Then I create a new HTTP request message where I set the method of this to post. And finally, I create a dynamic object that the idea is to deserialize the response into this dynamic object. So here is my GraphQL query. So we can test this query in the GitHub GraphQL Explorer. So if we copy this and then we paste here and execute, we receive my GitHub username. So we are going to execute the same query using my custom HTTP client. In this case, we are reside and for Biden and to code, but why is that? Because the GitHub API is waiting for two headers. One is the authorization and the other one is the user agent. So we need to add this to the request. So we use the HTTP client default request header and add method. In this case, first we are going to uh, create our user agent header. User user agent and then we specify a value that the user agent is a, a, a representation of our application so put my console application and then we need to specify the authorization header so the same default header and we use the authorization property equal new authentication header value so we need to specify an scheme and value in this case a github api API is waiting for a basic authentication. So the scheme is basic and sorry and and then we need to, to specify the value of basic. We are leaving empty for now because we need to encode this basic value into uh, base 64 encoding. So in this case we are create a new variable called basic value. We are going to use the convert class to base 64 string, and uh, we need to pass a sequence of bytes. So we use the class encoding get bytes of my username and password. The basic authentication needs to provide a username and password. In this case, the password is a personal token that you need to request to the GitHub developer setting. So the format of this string is I create a config uh, class where I, I store my GitHub account and my personal token. So in this case, I use the GitHub account and the format of this string is the GitHub account. Uh, and then we need to add the single column and then the personal token. So config personal token. And finally, we use this uh, basic value here. So if we execute the console application again, we receive my GitHub username. So that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. So thanks for watching.